It was a week ago Monday. The death of George Floyd set off demands for change around the state. Protesters once again took to the streets overnight, and Mayor David Holt joined them. Tonight, we're hearing new details about their conversations. News Force Emily Akins reports. A group of protesters here overnight in front of the Oklahoma City Police Headquarters. They say they got here Tuesday afternoon and didn't leave until Wednesday morning around 5.30. We're that next generation who can make that change. Those words from 18 year old Sincere Terry, who says she's been protesting for days. What we also go do is allow people to ask questions to the mayor while he's still here. After Mayor Holt lifted the curfew in Oklahoma City last night, this group of protesters stayed into the early hours of Wednesday. We will be that voice of the change because we will not give up. I will not give up. Mayor Holt standing alongside protesters. I wanted to come down here and, and get a be a part of that conversation and that dialogue as well and 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 also maybe you know just ensure some peace but also telling the group this I can't promise outcomes and results because I'm only one person um, but I I think we have a really uh, I think what they raised today were, were certainly reasonable things to explore in the areas of de-escalation and, and uh, you know the some sort of accountability beyond what we've got with the uh, Citizens Advisory Board. Members of Black Lives Matter and the Young Democrats of America say it was important for Mayor Holt to be there. That's what this is about. He doesn't have all the answers. He doesn't have all the authority. We know that and we don't expect him to fix every issue. But what we do expect for him to do is listen because he represents us. In downtown Oklahoma City, Emily Akins, Oklahoma's News 4. Oklahoma City police say four people were arrested last night, all for vandalism. It's not known if they were participants in last night's rally.